and welcome. Welcome to another day. We are actually headed for a day out. I needed to just get out of the house for a little while. And so we're gonna go to Bass Pro Shop and probably go, there's a mall. We may actually go here first because everybody's getting a little hungry. They love to eat in the food court. So we may go there first and get lunch and then go over to Bass Pro Shop and just have a fun day out and about. We got behind a gut truck. If you know, you know. We were behind one that had some stuff coming off the back of it. And it got all over the front of the car. So we stopped at the car wash and Easton helped me out and sprayed it all off. Let's go ahead and head on. We've made it to the outdoor mall where we're gonna get some lunch. And y'all, it is beautiful today. It's supposed to get up to like 80, I think. But there's a chance of rain all day, so. There's that. We might be walking back out in the rain. Uh, we're going to get some lunch. Maybe go into a store too. I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. That, that may not happen. But we're going to get some lunch here in the food court because the boys love that. I also forgot to put the stroller back in the car. Leave it to me. I took it out when we went to get groceries. And I forgot to put it back in. So I'm toting the baby. Sir. Lunch was delicious. Hold his hand. And we shared, so I didn't overeat. Uh, let's go, let's go this way. I tried to take the hat and put it back up and he wanted, he cried until I gave it back to him to put it on. Somebody may be getting his first cap. <laughs> Usually he doesn't want to wear hats. So this is my first time ever getting a drink at Dunkin'. I've gotten donuts, but never a drink. And I got a frozen mocha with caramel drizzle. Let's see how it is. It's good. Ooh, you got a bunch of eggs. Here, let's put them in the basket. One, two, Three, seven eggs today. Thought I'd show you what we got while we were out and about today. And then I'm going to work on some meatball subs for dinner. That's Huddy's request. And when I, so he had said it a few days ago when I told him that's what I was fixing. I was like, you remembered. I said they're messy, but they're good. So that's going to be supper tonight. I may just eat some meatballs. I may not eat them on bread. I don't know. It made my mind up yet. But, let me show you what we got. So, at Bass Pro Shop, Easton, Hudson, and White all got new Bass Pro Shop hats. Showed you a little clip of White with his own. They all three got one of those. And then, the two big boys, two older boys, got this crappie, crappie max 
lures that they're gonna split and put in their tackle boxes. And then I got Audrey some birthday cake fudge, which she has already. She doesn't eat many sweets, but that's one that she likes and she'll just eat a little bit at a time. So we got that for her at Bass Pro Shop. While we were at the mall, we went in Carter's because that is the one place that I can find footed pajamas in bigger sizes. It's so like at Walmart, after 12 months, it's hard to find footed pajamas, but Carter's usually has, has them and they were on sale, which is nice. They were $12. So, we got these Baby Yoda ones for Wyatt. He loves to sleep in these. They keep him good and warm, but they're not too hot. And they have his size. And I had another footed pajama, and then Wyatt saw this one, and he liked it. Has tigers on it. And the feet are open, but I can put some little socks on him, and he'll be good to go. And for Fletcher, y'all, I've not really bought him many clothes. We've been blessed with people gifting us clothes. And then he had hand-me-downs, obviously, from his older brothers. So, I haven't gotten to get him much. And so, I got him a little outfit while we were in there. Has buffalo on it. And a car pulling a little camper. And it has a hat with it, which probably won't fit him. I don't know. It might. It might. But I thought that was really sweet. And it is a two-way zipper, so it's got the zipper on the bottom and on the top. I had another package as well that I wanted to show y'all. And I'm excited about this. I went back and forth on whether or not... I should get some workout clothes or exercise clothes that fit a little bit better right now. I didn't want to spend the money on them because obviously I want to lose a little weight, feel a little healthier, be a little healthier. And so I thought, well, if I spend the money on them, are they going to fit long? There's a honey hand. And the more I thought about it, the more I just realized that if I want to be motivated, if I want to feel confident and comfortable and motivated to work out. I need some clothing that fit. While I have some workout clothes, they don't fit very well. They don't feel very comfortable. They don't make me feel very confident. And yeah, I could put on a pair of my maternity leggings and one of my husband's t-shirts, one of Justin's t-shirts, and I could work out, but that doesn't motivate me. So, to give myself a little more motivation, I have a package here from Yvette Clothing, and I've already opened it and looked at it, and looking at it and like feeling of how it's made, I feel like it's going to fit now, and then even, if, hopefully, as my body changes and as I lose a little, little more weight, it will still fit, I think, for quite a while. If you're new, I'm seven, almost eight weeks postpartum just had my fifth baby and I love my body y'all I'm proud of my body it has grown and birthed and nourished five kiddos so I'm proud of it speaking of kiddos they're all coming here and there and everywhere so, real life around here um and I'm proud of it but I could be healthier and happier with my body and the way I feel so with that said, let me show you what I got. I, and there's all kinds of styles, all kinds of colors. I tried to coordinate colors so that I could mix and match and make different outfits. I got two pair of leggings. I think they're the same, they're sport leggings. I think they're the same, just in different colors. I got this purple color, and I love the detail on the bottom. They have a, higher, more supportive waistband. And I got the same ones in gray. You know what, is the design on the bottom the same? Yeah, yeah, it is. And then I got two sports bras. And I got everything in extra large, just for reference. I got this black 
sports bra. And they have all kinds of neat designs. This one has this, what do you call it? It's a keyhole type opening up here. And it crisscrosses in the back. It's padded. Got that in black. What do they call this color? Rose. And it has a double crisscross strap in the back. And I don't know that I'm confident enough. They, they have the clasp. Is this one too? Yeah. I don't know that I'm confident enough even at home to just wear leggings and a sports bra quite yet. But they're beautiful and I want to show off some of those beautiful features. So I got some tanks. Yeah, I got some tank tops to wear over them that are nice and flowy and will still show some of those neat features of the sports bra without being just too revealing, I guess. And I got, what did I get? I got blue. Light blue. It came in a pack of three. Light blue, black, and pink. So here's the black. And the pink. And it's a dusty pink color. Sometimes things don't come across on camera very well. But I don't know. Maybe it's picking it up pretty accurate. It's a dusty pink. And I can mix and I can match those. And I can exercise in them. I can throw them on and take the kids to the park. I feel like I will be comfortable and confident in them and it will motivate me to want to exercise and work out and just feel a little bit better. Like I said, I think these will fit now and feeling of them and looking at them, I think that they're going to fit me because of the way they're made and the fabric and material and things, even if I do lose some weight, I think I can get some good long wear out of these. I wanted to let you know that I asked for a discount code for you all and they'll be down in the description box as well as links for all of the items that you saw here today. And y'all, the quality of these is spot on. The performance, I'm, I'm very, very happy with them so far. It's time to start on meatball subs. Everybody seems to be pretty excited about that. <laughs> 